Yeah. So I'm about to go ahead and do part two of my Q&A because I've been MIA and I'm sorry. Um, excuse my face. I broke out. So, yeah. Um, so if you didn't watch part one, go back about maybe five or six videos and you'll see part one. I had on like a bluish, purplish shirt and a Disney hat and some, well, I was going to say some weave, but a wig. So you'll see that thumbnail. You can go ahead and click on it. So the next question is, have I ever had a crush on a teacher? Mm-hmm. Dr. Argo. Hey, if you ever watch this. <laughs> Dr. Argo, Ball State University. I had a crush on him. He's a white man, but he's like, he looked to be like a white man, maybe late 30s. He was like a scruffy white boy, too. So I was just looking at him like, mm, you sexy. And needless to say, I got an A+. Plus. <laughs> I got an A out of that class because it was hard not to pay attention to the man. And a lot of people was like, oh, my God, I can't ever get no good grades. And, like, I, st I sat in the back, too. It's a big, big lecture hall, over 300 students. And I was eyes front the entire time. Like, oh, my God, his pop quizzes, oh, I was getting them. So, yeah, shout out to him. He was a very, very sexy professor. And I used to sit from the back squinting like, is that a ring that I see? It was, so. Shout out to his boo thing for hubbying him up. <laughs> um, something you done that was just nasty. <sighs> something I done, and I'm literally coming up with these answers off the top of my head, y'all. Something that I done that was just nasty was... <sighs> A boo boo in a plastic bag. <laughs> okay, so let me explain. Me and my ex was, he had an interview, kind of like an interview, and like the person showed him around on the job or whatever. He was trying to do like this little paper route thing. And this was some years back. And uh, he asked me to go with him, and I was like, yeah. And then, uh, he needed me to drive him. So I was like, okay, that's fine. I'll just take you. It was like 4 a.m. We drove out to the place. And like before I left, I knew everything was fine. Like I wasn't tripping. My stomach wasn't tripping or nothing. And then like we was on the way there and my stomach started feeling funny. But it wasn't feeling funny. Well, I was like, mm, I need some. Like I was, I thought I was okay. I just thought my stomach was acting funny and that. I don't know. So I was like, baby, can we stop off at uh, Walmart? Do you think we got enough time so I can go and get me um, some cough drops? So he like, yeah, I let him drive my car. So we go, we go stop off, get me some cough drops. I'm just smacking because y'all know I'm addicted to cough drops. So I'm chilling. He get out, he go in the place and he like, I'll probably be out in a little bit. I'm like, okay. But then he texts me and was like, yo, it's taking longer than I thought. So I'm going to have to turn my phone off. And I don't know what time I'm going to be back. So, you know, if you don't mind, just chill. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. So I'm in the car singing Jamie Foxx and everything else. And my stomach starts sounding like a garbage truck. So I'm like, uh-oh. And all of a sudden, it went from blah, 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 my stomach to blah, 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 my butt. I was like, oh, my God. And so at this point, I'm like, I got to go. So I'm scared to leave because I'm like, if he come out, it's still dark. If he come out and I'm gone, what he go like he ain't got no way of contacting me because I think his phone died. His phone died or did his phone die? Either his phone died or it was turned off at the time and he was using Wi Fi or something like that. I don't know. But I was like, he don't have a way to contact me, and I can't, like, leave him a note. I can't go in the place. Like, it's all locked up security and everything. What I'm going to do? So I was just, I just prayed. And I was like, I'm going to boogie on down here to the nearest gas station, which was literally, like, four or five miles away. So I'm, like, rocking back and forth in the seat. Oh, my God, I got a boo-boo. Oh, my God, I got a boo-boo. And I get to Speedway. Why the bathroom was already 
it it up, man. I was like, uh. So, of course, I naturally wrapped up the toilet with all types of toilet paper and everything. And I sat down and let it loose. I was cool, or so I thought. So, I get back. My stomach is like that again. And this time I knew there was no four miles that I could drive before this boo-boo was finna come out of my butt. So I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? And I looked around in that car so doggone fast. And I found me a plastic bag. And I hurried up and climbed in the back seat of my car. And I was like, you know how, like you can have your legs on the seat, but your butt like hanging off the seat if you turned around towards the back seat. That way... Yeah, so I like opened up the plastic bag because it was like coming out of my booty before I could even get my pants down. Didn't get in my drawers or nothing. I was just like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It was like quick thinking and I just let it go. And I just tied that bag up and it was like this field off to the side. And I tied that bag up and I threw it off in the field, sprayed my car and I had some napkins too. So I did wipe my butt. But I just felt so trifling, and that was literally the nastiest, well, something you done that was just nasty. I can't think of nothing else right now, because I know y'all like, if that ain't the nastiest thing, what is it? I don't know, but that's what I did that was nasty. If you could punch one celebrity, who would it be? Does Donald Trump count? And if not him, then I'd probably punch Kanye. I don't like him. Ever had a threesome? No, absolutely not. Y'all, I'm selfish, okay? If I'm messing with you, it's mine. Period. Point blank. Dot com. Plus, I can't be touching on no other chick. Just a thought. And this is no shade to the LBGT community. But personally, somebody else's juices on me... I can't. I can't. Mm -mm. I will throw on a wig and I'll be the third person. I'll be like, okay, oh, get it, get it, hit it from the back. I'll turn around, put a wig on, and be a whole other person. And that'll be the three of us in the bed, me, myself, and him. I ain't got time. Okay. Ever farted in public? Heck yeah. Who hasn't? I done farted in public. I remember I was in like the fourth grade in school and I sneezed and pooed it. And this dude was like, dang, Brittany. And I was like, what? He was like, your sneeze was loud. I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, I thought he heard me poo. Heck yeah, I done farted in public. I farted in public probably today at work. But don't nobody know because it be quiet. And you know, you walking in a store, you just go ahead and poop and then you keep on walking. Have you ever felt bold with your parents? And if so, what happened? Let my mama tell it. Yes, I felt bold with her before. But let me tell it. Heck, you know. I'm black. Mm -mm. Um, And it was another question that a young lady asked. I don't see her comment. Let me see. I don't see her comment anymore. Um, So I can't shout out her name. But it was a comment that a young lady asked that said, what happened to you and your boyfriend? And me and my ex broke up. <sighs> long story short, because it is a very long story of how it happened. But <clears throat> we broke up because from his mouth, he couldn't be there for me like I needed or like I wanted. That's his version of things. My version of things that I've even expressed to him was that um, <clears throat> I'm just I'm trying to find ways to say this that don't come off offensive in case you see it. But um, <laughs> OK, basically, I'm going to just put it to you like this. Before you enter into a relationship, this goes for men and women, you need to be completely, sorry, my underarm itching. You need to be completely secure in yourself and value yourself and know who you are as a person um, and be very secure in that before you can have somebody else with you because there is only so much 
building up that, you know, the other person can do for you. Um, I mean, you can choose to believe it. You can look and be like, oh my gosh, she really believes in me. Oh my God, he really believes in me. But if you never get to that point yourself to know who you are and value yourself, then you're going to stumble into a roadblock. So basically, I felt like that it was some personal stuff going on within him that he needed to work on. And it beats my nose itching because I got allergies. I ain't digging no boogers. It was some personal stuff going on with him that he needed to take care of. And he couldn't deal with. Like, he already had too much on his plate as far as himself was concerned. And then he couldn't deal with my, you know, extra stuff that I needed because I was really going through it at that time. I had lost my job. My mom wasn't feeling too well in and out of the hospital. Um, I dealt with harassment on that job. So, like, my ego suffered. So, it was just a lot going on, and I really needed somebody to be there for me. You know, my man, and he, according to him, he couldn't be. So, um, that's basically what it was. He was going through some things and he couldn't handle, um, being there additionally for somebody else. And it was also a family thing as well, where he kind of distanced himself. I'm not aware of all the details on that, but like I said, it was just personal stuff within him that was going on. Um, so yeah, just to put it mildly. So that's what it is that happened. And I mean, I hope that he's good. We are we are complete strangers. We do not talk to each other. Uh, I've tried to reach out to him quite a few times because we were friends before we were anything. So of course, you know, of course I still care to some extent or whatever. So I mean, it is what it is. You can't twist anybody's arm or anything like that. But yeah, I hope that he's doing well. I'm doing pretty freaking well myself, so. That's great. And yeah, so any other questions that you guys could think about that I may or may not have answered or if you want any further elaboration, please comment down below and let me know. And on the last story time, I definitely asked you guys if you wanted some story times regarding um, me losing my virginity and what happened with that and I explained what happened, but I asked y'all, did y'all want a couple story times from that? So if you do, go back, look at the end of that video if you already watched it, and comment below which story time you want. A lot of people said they wanted me to do both of them, which I probably will. But yeah, just let me know, and I'll talk to you guys later. Mwah, bye.